No, Minerva, I will not go out with you. I am not like my counterparts. I don't care if one of them is married to either a mouse, a dragon, or a freaking goat woman. I do not string that berry. If you were a human, maybe I would go out with you. But you are a freaking minx. I will not go down the same path as my counterparts. Now, if you excuse me, I need to be anywhere that's not here. Do not bother me again with this stupid dating crap. You're a okay. What happened? Well, won't be at all, but you were in a horrible car accident. And we had to make an emergency surgery in order to save blood. Because your body was horribly mangled. But if that's the case, then where is my head currently now? Well, why don't you just take a look on your left and see for yourself? I guess we're a roommate now. Just make sure you don't hug your side of the blanket. Before you yell, please remember my ears are right next to you. It might take a while, but we'll get right to work on bashing you up a new body for your head. Until then, you are gonna have to learn to live together with your new roommate. Uh, nurse, can I ask a question of you? It better not be a thing, because I don't date women. Oh, ha ha, very funny, Minerva. No, I was gonna ask why I can't control the right side of your body. Oh, I didn't know you wanted that kind of stuff. I don't want to know what you're thinking about. I'm just asking in case I have an itchy nose. I'll have to ask you for everything. <laughs> Okay, you two, that's enough of that. I think it's time you get out of the hospital gown and back into your normal clothes. You can go change behind that curtain. Wait, shouldn't we put a blindfold on me first before this or something? Oh, don't be so silly, Ed. Come on, this might be very interesting, Ring. Why am I getting the feeling that you're enjoying this way more than you should be? This is much better, don't you think, Edge? Uh, well, at least this can't get any worse. I'm afraid it actually is gonna get a little worse, Edge. What are you talking about, nurse? Well, I'm afraid you're gonna have to be forced to wear this. Are you kidding me? I have to wear a female cat mask? Well, it's either that or it's thing to everyone else why a male head is attached to a female body. Ah, uh, fair point. Fine. Just put it on. Oh, I like to mention it has the voice synthesizer in it, so it will sound just like a female, so it won't sound weird. Yay! I always wanted to sound like a female. Just put it on me already so we could just head home. If I can say anything, at least you look cute in that mask. Eh, I can shut up and just let's go home. Wait a minute. What song do we go to? Yours or mine? Well, let's have a show of hands. Who here thinks we should move into your house? Oh, ha ha. You know I can't control your right arm. This is just a one sided conversation. Fine. Let's just head to your house. Not like I have much of a say in this. I can say this much at least. 
at least I can move on my own again. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Ed. Let's go out and celebrate. Whoa, 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 Minerva. What's with all this affection you're giving me? I'm still not going out with you. Uh, uh, but, uh, I thought that you and I got to close together. What? You thought I would actually want to date you after being stuck to your body for six months? Nope. The fact of the matter is you're still an animal and I'm a human. In fact, to prove this point, hey nurse, you want to go out on a date with me? Well, Minerva, me and the nurse are heading out for our first date. See ya, loser! <laughs> Minerva.